Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. In this video, guys, we're going to talk about Simon Kabadia making claims that his soon-to-be ex-wife, Portia Williams, brought a gunman into their marital home, resulting in the police being called to maintain the peace. All I can say is just fix it, Jesus. Fix it. Let's talk about it, shall we? Because Portia is about to see a storm. I believe that she never could have predicted with this man. But then again, I think that when you go into someone's home to visit and you leave with their husband, whatever is bestowed upon you, I believe she is truly deserving of. I believe that Portia thought that she was game. She knew how to play the game. And she saw the nice, soft side of Simon Gobadi. And she thought she had this man wrapped around her fingers. And she totally forgot of his heritage, his descendant, where he's coming from. The woman in Simon's country, the woman from Simon's homeland. Nigeria are hella scared of Simon. But no, Portia thought that there's no such thing as red flag. Now, Portia is definitely not getting red flag, but she's definitely facing fire because this is way beyond red flags. Now, according to documents obtained by page six, Simon Gobadia reportedly claimed that his estranged, his estranged wife brought armed gunmen into their marital home. But I think what Portia did was to brought security because she is not as dumb as we think she is. Even the smartest of us make stupid mistakes and all of that. But I don't think she brought um, men with illegal firearm, because that is what a gunman is. A man with an illegal firearm that's not licensed or registered. I believe that Porsche hired two security guards that might be attached to some company, you know, to scare Simon a bit. And, you know, she thought that it would have worked. Woman, this man is the devil's advocate. How do you try to scare the devil with gun? You have to be on his level. Simon is truly, truly nobody's fool. It says, oh, she has forgotten this man, um, criminal record. A man with a criminal record like that is not someone that you can easily intim intimidate or push out of his home. If anything, this man will use his ancestors to get you out of whatever you own, Portia. Be careful, because if Simon has such a criminal record, then automatically we know that this man does not play fair. Now, Simon is also alleging that Portia had third parties to call and harass him and others in effort to force them out. So basically, I think he's saying that Portia was trying to get him out of the house. He's saying um, Portia and her mom and the mother boyfriend made forcible entry into the home and disengaged security cameras and tapered with items and evidence. Simon is requesting that a judge issues a restraining order against Portia as per the court document since she has filed for divorce from Simon. Now, I honestly do hope that the judge grants Portia a, um, Simon a restraining order from Portia. Honestly, I do. Um, not just for Simon's sake, but also for Portia's mental health. I believe that it is time for her to truly take after her, take care after her. And as I've always said, and what I've learned is that Whenever you're going through something, you're heartbroken, something unpleasant happens to you, acting unbothered is one of the biggest self-arm that anyone can ever practice. And we've been seeing Portia living her best life in LA, or rather pretending to be living her best life and just being good and being unbothered. But based on what Simon is saying, evidently she's not. And there's one thing we know about Simon as for his history. If he's going to say something of this manner to the court, that means he has some type of evidence to, pro to prove what he's saying is in fact factual. 
Listen, I cannot wait for the rest of this shit show to unfold because this is what it is at this time. A complete shit show. Well, anyway, guys, that's all I have to say about that for this video. Let me know what are your thoughts while you're at it. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. Stay safe, stay sweet, stay blessed. And see you guys later. Peace.